pack them house. y'all so we back with another baddie on a budget tutorial i am excited because i know i buy like some expensive makeup sometimes you gotta keep in mind that i don't always have the money to buy new makeup from support sephora and stuff like that i think this tutorial is gonna be good for people that are just getting into makeup or if you don't want to use your expensive makeup for every day so so if you're on a hunt for some good drugstore makeup then you definitely want to watch this video because everything is going to be super affordable. Now this eyebrow pencil is not necessarily drugstore because it's by Colourpop but y'all know I swear by this pencil. This eyebrow pencil is only $5 at Colourpop and I have it in black brown. So what I'm going to do is pretty much fill in my eyebrows with it. This is almost like the only eyebrow pencil I use. Sometimes I like to mix up my products but this is my baby and you guys have seen me do my eyebrows like several times so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch me do them so my eyebrow lady decided to tell me that I have really thin eyebrows and I'm like I know I got thin eyebrows you don't have to tell me but then she was just letting me know that she does micro microblading and I don't know. I've been thinking about getting it microbladed, but I'm not sure. But now what I'm going to do is use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso. This is pretty much my skin tone. So anybody that's of deeper skin, you got to keep an Espresso Concealer on deck. So what I'm going to do is to highlight my eyebrows with this. And this concealer only retails for $2.99 at your local drugstore. And I did not know Ulta is now selling LA Girl Concealers. Oh my God. And now for an eyeshadow base, I'm going to use my same LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso. Since this is a skin tone concealer and it's super duper thick, so what I'm going to do is just put this all above my eye. Well, what am I talking about? I'm going to put it on my eyelid and then I'm also going to put it underneath my eye. Y'all have really been hounding me about getting YouTube videos out, so. <laughs> Since I'm scared for my life, I had to go ahead and make a video. So y'all know me, I like to do my eyes before I do my foundation. So what I'm going to do now is use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in... I don't know. Is it cocoa? Coconut? I don't know, but it's going to be listed in the description box below. And this is a red tone powder. So typically, I am unable to find red tone eyeshadows like reddish brown eyeshadows from drugstore. So what I like to use is just to use my face powder and I'm going to use this for my transition shade. Using my Sephora Rounded Crease Brush, brush this is going to go above my crease. So I found this amazing eyeshadow palette at Ulta and this is the NYX Wicked Dreams eyeshadow palette. It has 24 shadows and it looks, everything's falling out and it looks like this. Aren't these colors so freaking pretty they are gorgeous what I'm gonna do is to take this deep brown here because this is gonna be my crease shape for today so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in to my crease and blend it out so y'all know I use LA girl pro concealer to cut my crease but I use the shade cool tan today I'm gonna switch it up on y'all do you see this white baby right here? Like I found this in Ulta. I did not know LA Girl had this white shade. I think it's supposed to be like a highlighter concealer. It is, but it's white. So this will serve as an amazing base for us chocolate babies. So what I'm gonna do is to use this to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just gonna use a regular flat synthetic brush to apply this product. I think y'all see this baby. This right here, when I swatched it in Ulta, I fell super in love with it. Like, this eyeshadow palette is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color here, which is like a rose gold color. Do you see that pigment? So I am going to apply this all over my lid and I'm just gonna be using a flat brush in order to do this. I'm gonna go back in and deepen the corners 
Now let's go ahead and move on to foundation. So the foundation that I'm going to use today is the L'Oreal True Match foundation and it is in the color Coco. It's a yellow tone, cool tone foundation, which is a little bit different for me, but I have found myself actually loving this foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with a beauty blender sponge. Y'all know the drill. So I'm just going to conceal the innermost half of my face and blend that out with my beauty blender. So Sasha isn't drugstore, but I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to go ahead and set the areas that I apply my concealer. I know a lot of people use Airspun, but y'all have not sold me on that yet because I am super chocolatey and I refuse to buy something that's going to make me look ghostly. So I'm a little afraid. If y'all want me to try it out, let me know. But as of right now, I'm going to stick with what I know. So for mascara today, I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And then for lashes, you can't go wrong with Ardell Demi Wispies. These are just the wispy lashes. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and put these on. Very good drugstore brand. Like, who doesn't love wispies? They're amazing. So now it's time to brush this powder off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder and I am going to sweep this all over my face, even on the areas where I highlighted to kind of bring some more warmth back into my skin. You already know what I'm going to contour with today. So this is my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Ebony. It's the only thing I contour with. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour all the areas of my face, which is my cheekbones, my forehead, the size of my nose, my chin. It's pretty much everywhere contour. And for blush today, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. And for highlight today, I picked up the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, and this is in Golden Lights. Like, so gorgeous in the pan, but I have not tried it yet, so I'm praying that it does not fail me. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this as highlighter today. Y'all, I was so scared. Oh my god, I was so scared, but look at this. Yo, this is beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So for a lippy today, I'm going to use my NYX Espresso Lip Pencil. And then I am going to also use NYX Whipped Caviar. This little rosy color here. So this is going to be my lip combo for today. When you kill a look using all drugstore makeup, yo, this is bomb. This is so bomb. Platinum house. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up if you love this, and share with all your friends. You definitely want to share these products with your friends. Don't be selfish. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I love you so much.